What's going on guys, Erika here and in, uh, in the last video, or rather, depending on when, um, I was working on this chestnut and we were analyzing its EVs and we're going to have it with the assault vest. So, you know, we're, we're trying to break this shit down and um, the EV spread is kind of weird, you know, it's definitely weird. I understand that. It's not conventional. It's not. I know that. But I really want to try it out regardless. Sometimes things that don't seem good on paper work well in practice and I've seen this so much over time. Xenon with his goddamn future sighting, um, um, what the hell is the name of that Pokemon? Um, Gardevoir, uh, future sighting Gardevoir, you know, I, I, it works, it works in practice. On paper it seems crazy, it works in practice. We'll see, we'll, all we can do is try and if it works out, holy shit, that's great and if it don't, on to the next one. On to the next one. <laughs> please! <laughs> Somebody give me some money, please! Alright, alright, whatever. Now, let's get into the, what the investment's going to be. He's going to be max attack. That's an absolute must. And then we're going to be doing some crazy shit with everything else. Oh, okay, his special defense is going to be 56 EVs in special defense? 56, okay. Let's see. 56 special defense EVs. I mean, no, special defense. And, um... His defense is gonna have 80 EVs. And then finally, his HP is going to have... Dun, 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 120 EVs. Great, great. This is a very interesting custom set. I'm, I'm liking the idea. 120 HP EVs. This works out. This works out great. I really cannot wait to see this chestnut in action. This thing is what I'm really going to have my excitement up for. So we don't need you anymore, Verizion. Bye bye. Sorry. Now, because we're going to need a Selric on the team, there's a very high possibility that Chestnut is going to have another Grass type on the team, which is totally fine by me. We're going to need that Selric, man. We're going to need it if I want to really bring out the potential that Chestnut has. Somebody to put out aromatherapy, somebody to just keep the team healthy. Get some Leech Seed damage on some shit, you know what I mean? So we need a Pokemon that's going to be specifically made for that. And I'm thinking of one off the head right now. I'm thinking about freaking, um, what the hell's the name of this thing? Um, the cotton Pokemon. Um, Cottony? No, 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 not Cottony. Um, Whimsicott. Whimsicott. Yeah, I, that's striking me in the head right now as being the Pokemon that we need to be our Celeric on this team. Prankster, Fairy Typing, Leech Seed. If it gets Wish, that'll be even better. Um, let's see. X and Y Pokedex. I'm really, I'm really loving the idea of Whimsicott right now. Let's take a look at this thing. It seems like a very practical Pokemon for what we need right now. We need a cell we, we need it. It's an absolute must. It's it's it, it's required. So now let me see here. So far I'm loving how this team is looking. We're gonna figure out Durant's set later in terms of like the specifics with his item and his EV investment, but for now this is great. This is totally fine. But now for our cell rig here, I'm def definitely thinking um Whimsicott, that's for sure. Whimsicott. Is that how you spell his name? Doesn't really matter. Yeah, Wim, Wim Zikot. Okay, yeah. So now, let's see what options Wim Zikot has. Of course, Leech Seed, Cotton Spore. Nah, we don't need Cotton Spore at all. We got Leech Seed. Tail Wind. I'm thinking of ones off the head, Substitute. And um, let's see what else. Tailwind is an option, you know? I'm really thinking about Tailwind because, you know, the fact of the matter is that thing raises your speed. It doubles your speed or something? It ups the speed of all Pokemon in the party for four turns. That can be useful, man. That can be extremely useful. I wonder how much it increases your speed by, you know? That'd be really nice to know, but, um, whatever. And, um, now we got, um, the standard shit, you know, Tailwind, Hurricane, Moonblast. We'll just put those down just to have an attack in the Okay. Now, um, Toxic, you know, standard. Taunts, Toxic and Taunt, yeah, definitely. We need a Taunter. We do need a Taunter. Um, the screens, dual screens, yeah. Light screen. Reflect. 
screens sound like they'll be nice to have with wish protect something like that um let's call that hyper beam light screen protect safeguard 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 is interesting safeguard is definitely interesting to me um frustration solar beam return psychic shadow ball double team facade reflect rest attract round energy ball fling giga impact flash attract double team let's see um swagger sleep talk u-turn trick room substitute nature power dazzling gleam Dazzling Gleam is definitely an option. But no, we got Moonblast. Oh, fuck Dazzling Gleam. Uh, beat Up. Captivate. Encore. Encore. Oh, hell yeah. Really good options on Grass Pokemon now. Well, maybe not all Grass Pokemon, but you know, Whimsicott definitely has some nice options. The Encore? That sounds amazing for setup, you know? Then again, it's always bad. I mean, too bad they limited the turns. Remember how in 4th Gen, Encore be going on for like 7 to turns sometimes, yo? That should be crazy, just setting up. Oh, it's crazy. Fake Tears. Grass Whistle. Memento. Natural Gift. Switch Root. Tickle, Worry Seed. Absorb, Fairy Wind. Stun Spore. The accuracy in that. Stun Spore is such a low accuracy. Razor Leaf, Poison Powder, Energy Ball, Cotton Guard, nah, we don't need that. Endeavor, Solar Beam, Transfer Only Moves, Endeavor, Giga Drain, Hot Beam, Knock Off, Seed Box, no more. Where the fuck is the Wish Protect? Wish, this, it doesn't get Wish? Please don't tell me it doesn't get Wish. Oh my god, William Sakai does not get Wish. Is this even worth it? <laughs> Like, is this even really worth it? This this doesn't seem worth it if it doesn't get Wish. No, that's not worth it. Hell no, that's not worth it. Wow, I can't believe I really just... Nah, you, you gotta have Wish. You gotta have Wish. That's a necessity. Yeah, that... I'm sorry, man. That's... You can't not have Wish and be a seller. That's, that's impossible. No matter what options you have. I don't care if you got... The best, the, the best setup moves, the best status moves in the game, except for Wish, then you you can't be considered a sub. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, Toga Dick. Let me see. So Toga, that means that that means that Toga Kiss gets Wish too, then, right? Toga Kiss, you are the bane of my existence. I hate you as a Pokemon. Well, I hate Toga Kiss because of how easily it's able to abuse. But, if we could use it in a different way, that'd be interesting. Togekiss seems like it'll be a great cell rate because it has the ability to pass off wishes, but it also has the ability to Thunder Wave. Um, it, it seems like a very interesting Pokemon. Wish support on a Togekiss, for God's sakes. It doesn't have that much HP at all. Only 85, and usually wishers come off with a lot more, but... Um, I mean, I know I could use a Pokemon like um, Floor Guess, but I like the idea of Togekiss too, and it has some really good resist. It comes in there with a Celebrate, but it can also really take hits, and, and it has really good typing for the shit. Come in and take a Fighting move, come in and take a Ground move, no problem. That's no problem for Togekiss whatsoever. What is it weak to? With the Fairy and gra um, with the Fairy and Flying typing, this thing is really resistant to shit. Dark, Dragon does nothing. Um, rock, well, still fucks it in the ass, but bug, blah, blah, blah. It has so many resist. Well, so many, and it does have some weaknesses, but still. Totally kiss resist and totally negates really common damaging moves. Yeah, let's let's try out Totally kiss. I want to use Totally kiss. Thunder Wave, definitely. Wish, thank you. Let's see what else. It gets extreme speed. But what would be the point, you know? Just to get, like, priority damage on something? Like, I guess, but I don't think, no, nah, no, nah, we don't need extreme speed on that thing. Let's see what else it's got. Um, we don't really need to list all those moves. We can just figure out, since we know it's going to be a Celric, Protect is also an option. Since we know you're going to be a Celric, we're not going to equip you with 
the whole move set. We kind of can figure out what we need Togan to do anyways. We'll put Toxic down. Um, Air Slash is also an option just to get general damage off. 